Hi everyone, it's Kylie here. Today we've got a 15 minute stretch routine to help with your flexibility for splits, to really open up the hamstrings, really stretch out the hip flexors and a little into the lower back, all the areas that will really help you get your splits. So starting off, if you've got a towel handy, grab that. If you've got a couch cushion or a block, grab that too. Then make your way down onto your back popping the towel around one of your feet and pulling that leg in gently to get a nice stretch through the hamstring. Then opening out through one hand, bringing that foot now across the body just slightly, keeping the hip pressing down onto the floor, then opening out the other way. Bringing it out again, trying to keep those hips nice and square, just warming up through the back of the leg, getting a little bit of length in there for you. Then gently bringing it up back to centre. Then we'll be opening out again, doing this three times. It's a nice way to do it on the floor. And then back to centre. And then out again for the last time with this leg. Really trying to keep those hips square. And then back to centre, switching legs. The towel goes around the other foot now. Gently pulling it in, stretching that other leg out in front of you. You can also keep that bent if you're a little bit tighter there. And then popping the leg across, pulling the leg gently across the body now. And then opening it out to the side. Bringing it back to centre, then opening it out for the second time on this leg. Really breathing into it, letting the day go. And then back to centre and then opening it out again. We store a lot of tension in the hips and the hamstrings, so this is a really great chance to Really breathe into it as you come on up. Coming up to standing now, really opening the chest with the legs about hip width apart and then coming down into a forward fold. You can have the hands clasped behind you if you do want that extra chest opener to get a little bit more into the back for you. Keeping a slight bend in the knees, not forcing anything here helping the body to warm up and lengthen with each breath. Taking deep breath in and then exhaling as you fold forward. Lengthening with each breath in and then folding with each breath out. Rolling up now. Placing one foot in front of you Taking a breath in and then folding forward over that front leg as you exhale. Keep a slight bend in that front leg. Trying to keep those hips nice and square. Just going as far as you can. Breathing into it. And bringing the legs back. Taking the other leg back now same thing taking a deep breath in and then exhaling as you lean forward breathing in to lengthen and breathing out to fold forward inhaling up taking the other leg back again this time if you want to add that chest opener that we did for the forward fold to start you can add that or repeat the same Fold as before without the arms back. Really allowing the body to open a little bit with each breath. And now swapping over legs, other leg goes back. Clasping those hands behind you if you did on the other side. And then folding the body forward.
wonderful work. Now stepping both feet back into a downward dog position, walking out however feels good for you, feeling the stretch down the back of the legs and then coming to a place of stillness, then bringing one knee forward. So we're going into a nice hip opener here, so really having the foot as far forward as your hips allow. Really trying to keep those hips, both hips pointing forward here, not dumping all the weight into that front leg. And then once you've got that position, you can exhale, rest the head forward. If you want a, a deeper stretch through the front of that back leg, you can bend that back foot up, gently grab hold and gently breathe into it as you pull that foot gently forward. If that's really not happening for you today, remember you can always stay in that hip opener that we started with. Now shaking it out, getting ready to bring the other leg forward now to open up that other side. further forward that front foot goes, the stronger the stretch will be. So if you don't want to take it quite as far, bring that foot closer to the hip. Once you've got a really nice position coming forward and really breathing into it, exhaling out and letting the body go. Then inhaling up and if you want to stretch out the front of that back leg and bend up that foot gently pulling it towards you feeling it out then when you're ready letting that foot go now if you've got that cushion handy a couple of towels or a block we'll be using this for our splits practice start with leaning forward over one of your feet and then pulling that hip back keeping the hips square inhaling in and then exhaling over that front leg inhaling in and exhale feel it lengthen now when you're ready you want to position that block under that hip this just allows you to really focus on getting the correct positioning in your splits. If you want to keep that back leg with the toes curled under, really trying to keep both hips pointing forward as best you can. If you need a thicker couch cushion to start with, by all means grab that. So you don't want any pressure at the back of your knee. With time, those hamstrings will open. So just be gentle with yourself and really commit to stretching it out, enjoying the journey. When you've had a few breaths, we'll switch over legs. Shake it out as you need, reposition that block or your couch cushion or your blankie. Leaning forward, stretching the hip flexor and then drawing that hip back, exhaling out over that front leg, inhaling to lengthen and then exhaling whoosh, letting it go. When you're ready, keeping those back toes curled under, positioning that block in a good position for you. It really allows you to practice getting a good position for your splits, working with your body as that hamstring flexibility improves. If you've got something by your side that could be handy sometimes. And then coming back, switching legs, going back to that first leg and 
Noticing how much you've improved this time. Maybe you can feel it opening a little more. It's really nice if you can hold these stretches for about 30 to 60 seconds. If you want to hold them longer by all means. Breathing into it. And then bringing it up, switching sides now back to that other leg. This is the last time practicing those splits on this leg now. Feeling the hamstrings lengthen and tuning into the breath. And when you feel ready, coming on up, you're going to be working on opening the inner thighs a bit now. So if you want to get those middle splits, these are some good stretches to end with. And just bring the feet in however far you can, gently pressing through the knees so they go as close towards the floor. And then breathing into it and opening the legs, bringing them out either side, taking a deep breath in and then exhaling, folding forward. Remember, just go as far as you can. It's not about forcing it. You really want to work with your body and feel it lengthen, relax. Keep the breath nice and calm. And to stretch out one leg and hold on to one of the toes, open the shoulder up, trying to keep that facing up towards the ceiling as you reach that top arm across to the grab the toe, inhaling up, then going down to the other leg now, inhaling that arm up and then exhaling it across the body. Trying to keep that chest open, facing towards the ceiling. And then coming back to centre. Coming forward again, seeing how far you've improved. Holding a little longer if you like, or coming back to a seated position. We're going for a nice forward fold. So inhaling our arms up and then exhaling forward. Grabbing hold where you can on the shins, on the knees, around the feet. Taking this opportunity to breathe in and then as you exhale, let go. Let go of those things you don't need to keep anymore. Feel the body lengthen. Then when you're ready, coming up, I'm going to finish off with a couple of gentle twists and stretches. Just hugging the knees in for the moment, bringing the arms out to the side, dropping the knees to one side. If you want to grab that top foot, for an extra stretch and then if you want to grab that bottom foot you can also pull that in for a pretzel position. A really lovely stretch. If this is a bit much for you just stick with dropping the knees to the side to so get that spinal stretch. Inhaling back to centre and then dropping the knees to the other side for the beginner level. If you want to stretch out that front leg and grab it and bend up the bottom leg, you can do that. Or maybe this is something to work to. Bringing the legs back. 
grabbing the knees, hugging them in there, taking some final deep breaths, and then grabbing the feet, pulling them over the head if that feels good, and then rolling up, We're going for three rolls, rolling like a ball, massaging the spine, then coming up and doing any final stretches that you feel like feels really good. Really hope that you've enjoyed this routine and it helps you improve your flexibility, get closer to those splits. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.